citizens benefiting from that aspect of it whilst we because I mean we've got about forty years of COVID. Mm. So we can't just close it down because like we were saying, make that happen. Well okay. <laughs> now look at Malang. Yes. It's economy, it's online. Yes. The people, the large amount of people of Malang, they depend on mining. It's what is you know is, is making them survive. You know they are employed in this power station, they are employed in these mining companies and so on. If you are shutting down, you know the operations, you are destroying their lives, and that we cannot afford to actually do that. Right? We, you 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 really cannot afford. More another thing you asked me about policy to say what else yeah. you know um, apart from the the, the, the that we, we need to make sure that. We keep our own plans and we will fight for that. Yeah. Right? To make sure that you know uh, we increase in terms of our mining activities, activities that are able to, to take them down. Look at the issues of employment in the country. I'm, I'm an African, right? Mm -hmm. But I like to believe that uh, you know uh, this country is, is, is borders. They are you know um, we don't invest a lot in borders. And, and one of the policies that we are also you know, bringing out forward is the issue of that we need to build walls across our borders. And um, why we need to build walls is that everyone who comes to South Africa must be accounted. Um, there is crime currently of stealing of uh, you know the bikes in the car in the in the country, they are jumping the borders and all of that. What I'm saying is that the defense force, the Ministry of Defense Force, they are currently doing nothing. That's why we need you know. Uh, what you call uh, deployed about two thousand of them to be with to be two million rand in in the RC. We are saying why it's good to to, dest I mean, to stabilize Africa if there's a conflict and something like that. But also let's protect our borders in a way that we need to also to build our 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 borders and also strengthen them. By so doing, we are fighting you know crime in terms of you know uh, human trafficking. Drug trafficking into our borders and so on. Those are, are, are some of uh, you know of the issues that need to be and the policies that which we are advocating uh, for. But more importantly, we say some of the skills that South Africans they have, right, are given to foreign nationals. We must then formulate just like the Sufi did. I mean, uh, what you call Botswana did to say the skills that which a uh, South African person can do. They must be given to South African. All these skills that which South Africans can, we have looked for this job. No South African can do for this one. Then that's when we, we can absorb uh, South African, I mean, the foreign national show, right? And that's what I believe. And also the small businesses, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, um, uh, small businesses like spaza shops and saloons, uh, those are businesses that must be, you know, be given to South Africans uh, to operate. The, 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 informal, the informal businesses must be given to South Africans. Yeah. Uh, and then others, if a foreign national wants to do business in South Africa, the 5 million, uh, the 5 million is the threshold that which says you need to invest 5 million and so on. Yeah. But it's not, it's not, it's not implementation. Yeah, it's implementation is a challenge. So you can't, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm an African and I love my fellow Africans. But we also, it's like, I, I take an example this way. Um, you have got a brother, you have got a sister in your home, you are eating, and you want to give me the outsider food first. It doesn't make sense. Like when I go to your house, they make sure you eat first before they even know. Correct, it. correct. So now, if you go to Botswana, you can't find a, a foreign national, you know, operating a spaza shop. Or maybe being a, we call them workers, uh, the one yeah, on the vendors, vendors, vendors. Those are, uh, you know, for those who are unemployed, the right way to as well, 50, thinking about what can I do? Go and buy some vegetables and go and sit there and sell. But it must not compete with the foreign national uh, in that matter. So I think that, you know, it's one of the policies that which we will implement or will advocate in terms of making sure that, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of you know uh, uh, graduates in South Africa. A lot of them they are unemployed, and found that a company here they absorbed a, a foreign national, who's a civil engineer. But I have a, 
So what Zimbabwe did, 
They judged that. They grabbed the land. Now you must understand, this is what happens. This mining company, uh, if you say a mine, you're not, you're not talking about a hole. There's not a hole here. Yeah. It's infrastructure, there's a whole system. There's a system skill. Someone went and take money elsewhere to come and and, and, and invest there. Even just the same as, uh, you know, as I said, it's capital intensive to yes. build to have a mine. Talking about billions. Mm-hmm. To have a farm, you also have to collateralize, you know, against the, against the, you know, your asset. Uh, you go and look feeds, you look tractors, water, silos, you know, silos, machines, and so on. Now, you want to take the money from the bank. If you are saying you are confiscating the land, means there is no repayment to the bank. What happens? Meaning that you are shutting down the economy because the banks are not going to get back what they spend. What, they spend. what you are doing, you are destroying the economy. And I tell you, we will be like Zimbabwe. Young people must be careful of those, you know, uh, old-fashioned and outdated uh, policies. Uh, you know, slogans. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So my last question is a question I'd like to ask uh, any politician, any political leader. Yeah. Um, you speak a lot about what you stand for, and we must support you. But who are the people that you not vote for? Who are the people that you are saying, hey, if you believe in X, Y, and Z? Maybe vote for the next door guy, not me. Don't look at, if you are looking for X, Y, and Z, don't come here. This is not what we stand for, this is not what we are about. Alright, those who do not respect property rights must not vote for me. Okay. Yeah, if you don't respect, if you're talking about expropriation of land without compensation, um, if you are saying that, uh, you know, nationalization of mines, by so doing, don't vote for me. Why? Because those are people that which are chasing jobs away. Mm-hmm. They are investors who want to come to this country yeah. and they want to put their money. But when they hear, they hear those slogans, they will not want to invest. Oh, now, the, the high unemployment in this country, uh, it, it also goes by this, you know, these slogans so that you are saying that you wanna go and, uh, and take someone's property and so on. What I encourage is those who respect our democracy, respect each other uh, without, you know, uh, even to offend anyone because of their color of skin mm-hmm. or because of their sexual orientation and so on. Those who love democracy, those who want to protect this country, I subscribe to those people who love peace and also those who want to change the lives of other people. For example, they need to find ways together to create employment for our people. 18 million who are currently you know, suffering and also depending on grants to be able to find jobs and do things for themselves. Yeah, that's it And this is from the podcast. Um, all the best with your campaign. And we do hope our viewers and our listeners give you an opportunity, um, we need fresh blood, uh, we can hear the passion when you speak, we can also hear that it was not a rant, you know what it is that you're talking about, you've equipped yourself with the knowledge on, on what it is, on where it is you want to make changes, so from, from, from our side here, yeah, we just want to wish you all the best, and um, hoping we can see you in Parliament. Thank Making you. the right noises. Thank you very much. All right, well, thanks a lot uh, yeah. you know, from my side as well. Uh, you've answered a lot of questions. I guess people are always welcome to put in the comment section anything they want to ask. We can always, you know, organize to to have your yeah. answer and do a follow up and that sort of thing. So I think it's out for me and aware and come like with the problem as well. Mr. Lindsay, do the number one motivators outside of the coin that shut in our way.
And then how uh, Jiggy Jiggy now all of a sudden we are deleting the one and replacing it. Yeah, so instead of adding. Yeah, so even because of the 8 billion, the US. The, ten, the, 10, billion, the 10 billion rent, right? Now, funny enough, again, those people who are giving us 10 billion to get rid of the old plants, the they plants. are now buying our home yes. and their demand is increasing. Mm -hmm. Is it that, you know, I mean, really? Yes, yeah, so, I can't. So, and now. But I'm, not, I'm sorry. I'm not, so now look at this. We busy destroying our home plants. Yes. What we were supposed to have done was supposed to increase the life and maybe do maintenance, mm -hmm. revive them, extend the life of those power stations. And we are also building the nuclear plants. Maybe mm -hmm. you know, uh, maybe two more. Uh, we already have one. Yeah. They go by the Kuba one. Maybe build two more. Uh, Asha is the problem, it's not a problem, but, Asha, but don't Asha them while you are destroying because they are doing a lot of work during the day, some of them. I mean, they are still like that during the day. At night, it's not, it's, not, it's not waiting. So, no country in the world has ever, we, we cannot you know, industrialize. For us to be able to, to have jobs, to create more jobs, and to have industries, to be able to build like us in this country, you will need to, you know, uh, level energy. Uh, energy source and, and what is needed here, let's deal with the energy. Right? Once we are done with the energy, now let's talk about industrialization. That's where industrialization mm -hmm. wanna come in. And uh, you want to say something? Yeah, yeah. so I, I wanted to say it's it's it, it's similar that the, the whole solar or renewable narrative is it, it, similar to a hybrid car. You have your base mm -hmm. which you can rely on. Then you have the nice to have because it's not always going to be there. Mm -hmm. So I, I completely agree that these things can work together because once you remove the one, it means that you are making people who are, who are employed unemployed. And then you bring in a few opportunities for the new one. Whereas you keep the unemployed or you keep the employed employed and you just add on because those are also natural resources. So if you go to UK, they don't have the sun like we have. Mm -hmm. So that when we do have the sun, we have a few of our citizens benefiting from that aspect of it. Whilst we, because I mean, we've got about 40 years of COVID. Mm -hmm. So we can't just close it down because like we are saying, make that happen. With, okay. <laughs> now, look at Mumana. Yes. It's economy, it's on mine. Yes. The people, the livelihood of people of Mumana, they depend on mine. It's what keeps, is, you know, it's, it's making them survive. You know, they are employed in this power station, they are employed in these mining companies, and so on. If you are shutting down, you know, the operations, you are destroying their lives. And that we cannot afford to actually do that. Like you, 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 you really cannot afford. More another thing you asked me about policy to say what else yes. you know um, apart from the, 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 the that we, we need to make sure that we keep our own plans mm -hmm. and we will fight for that. Yeah. Right to make sure that you know uh, we increase in terms of our mining activities activities than having to to take them down. Look at the issues of employment in the country. I'm I'm an African, right? Mm -hmm. But I want to believe that uh, you know this country is, is, is borders, they are, you know, um, we don't basically know their borders. And, and one of the policies that we are also, you know, bring out forward is the issue of that we need to build walls across our borders. And um, why we need to build walls is that everyone who comes to South Africa must be accounted. Um, there is crime currently of stealing of, uh, you know, the bikes in the car in the middle country. They are jumping the borders and all of that. What I'm saying is that the defense force, the Ministry of Defense Force, they are currently doing nothing. That's why we need, you know, uh, what you call uh, deployed about 2,000 of them to be with to be two billion rand in India. We are saying why is good to do this? I mean, to stabilize Africa if there's a conflict and something like that. But also let's protect our borders in a way that. We need also to build our 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 borders and also strengthen them. By so doing, we are fighting, you know, crime in terms of you know uh, human trafficking, drug trafficking into our borders and so on. Those are, are, are some of uh, you know of the issues that we have policies that which 
we are advocating uh, for. But more importantly, we say some of the skills that South Africans they have, right, are given to foreign nationals. We must then formulate just like the Sufi did, Amelie Matukor, Botswana did, to say the skills that which a South African person can do, they must be given to South African. Only the skills that which South Africans can, we have looked for this job. No South African can do for this one. Then that's when we, we can absorb uh, South African, I mean the foreign national job. And that's what I mean. And also the small businesses uh, in terms of, uh, you know, um, Small businesses like spaza shops and salons, those are businesses that must be, you know, be given to South Africans uh, to operate. They, they, they informal, the informal businesses must be given to South Africans. Uh, and then others, if a foreign national wants to do business in South Africa, the five million, the five million is the threshold that which says you need to invest. Five million and so on. But it's not, it's not, it's not mm -hmm. the mentation. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Implementation is the challenge. So you can't, uh, guys, I'm an African and I love my fellow Africans. But we also, it's like, I, I, I take an example this way. Um, you have got a brother, you have got a sister, you have got a home, you are eating, and you want to give me the outsider food first. Doesn't make sense. And then they go to your house. They make sure you eat first they, before they even go. Correct, there. correct. So now, if you go to Botswana, you can't find a foreign national, you know, operating as fast as well. Or maybe in a, we we'll call them the hawkers, uh, the one yeah, who they call them the vendors, vendors. Those are, uh, you know, for those who are unemployed, graduate who has got everything, thinking about what can I do. Go and buy some vegetables and go and sit there and sell. But it must not compete with the foreign national uh, in that matter. So I, I think that you know it's one of the policies that which we will implement or we will advocate in terms of making sure that uh, you know I, I've seen a lot of you know uh, uh, graduates in South Africa. A lot of them they are unemployed and found that a company here they absorbed a, a foreign national who's a civil engineer. But I have a a civil engineer sitting here in South Africa. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you know, they have no qualifications, but they are not being given the opportunity. So, in terms of you know what we are looking for, that, that must come to an end. So, and uh, you know we need to make sure that you know South Africans are also prioritised. So, 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 so yes, what and, and um, so we've spoken to other um, candidates as well, yeah. who have narrowed. The uh, jurisdiction or where they want to contribute, yeah. and I don't want to put too much pressure on you because it it, it, it seems that you already carved your niche. You are going in to the department or into the areas of South Africa that you are learned on. You understand the, the legislation around it, and you are passionate about it. So I I don't still want to drag you into other aspects because there are other South Africans who love South Africa, who are passionate for South Africa, just like you, who are maybe in the sports field who are pushing the same passion that you're pushing for the mining and for small businesses. So I want you to tell us if there's and, and this is this is this is uh, my closing of question mm -hmm. is to say to you, open platform. What is it that we did not ask you that you would like to tell South Africa? Uh, whether it's from a legislation point of view, or whether it's from a political point of view, or whether it's just you saying this is why you must vote for me. So anything that we did not cover in this almost hour long conversation, what, what is that one thing that we missed? That you think people should know about blessing and about these uh, candidacy? Okay, I'm much more passionate about seeing South Africa winning investors. But we cannot have it uh, if we have got fraud policies. Look at um, the policies that other political parties are busy you know, advocating of expropriation of land without compensation, nationalization of money. Those are not policies that I adhere to or I. You know, I subscribe to. I subscribe to a policy that are uh, you know for property rights. You need to respect property rights. Yes, I, I agree that 
there were some justices of the of the past in terms of land and so on. When I asked my father, where were you living before you built a house here? He said, No, I'm going to live there. He showed me a mountain. I said, Why did you move? He said, No, the, the, you know, they, they came, the you know, guys came, they moved us like he did. He doesn't forget that story. He said, We were coming from, you know, uh, you know, they were taking uh, looking after the, the cattle yeah, and so on. And, you know, it was in the evening and they were just when he, he came back and opened, he were told that we are moving. We are told to move there. They, they showed them that you know they will show you that. Yeah. So now that is led to disposition. You know, they, 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 they moved them and so on, meaning that they don't know I had control of that particular area. I understand that. But there was the police of winning violence and, and I think that that's what we need. If we want uh, you know a peace and also we want to move forward as a democracy. Let's just move with it. If you want, let just buy it. But the government must assist in, in, in terms of assisting in buying the land and giving it to people. For those who do not have money like myself. But, 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 but then you see, yes, yes, we are from Kansas yeah. And is that the current law makes a provision for expropriation. Yeah, yes. But there's no implementation. It's yes, it makes yes. provision. Very, very important. I, I thank you for that question. I mean, for that clarity. Uh, it makes provision for expropriation for the purpose of using land for public use. For example, if you want to build a hospital, so you want to build a school. I mean, but I don't just come and confiscate it. I come and sit down with you and negotiate with you. Then if you must be willing to, to, to sell, I must be willing to pay you the, the, you know, the, value, the value of that particular you know, the value the of that particular land. So I think that what, 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 you, what, what, what you are arguing for is, 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 is stability because it requires these ways in, in, in which yes. it can be done and we even, like you're saying, you want investors to come and investors can look and say, but you know, what this thing is doing is doing it for the community. Yeah, I said for jobs, but you can't create jobs if you go into the public way like yes. Zimbabwe did. Mm -hmm. So what Zimbabwe did, they just did that. They developed the land. Now you must understand this is what happens. This mining company, uh, uh, if you say a mine, you're not, you're not talking about a wall. There's not a wall here. Yeah. It's infrastructure. There's a whole system. There's a system. Skills. Someone went to take money elsewhere to come mm -hmm. and, 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 and invest mm -hmm. there. If you just the same as, uh, you know, as I said, it's capital intensive. It yes. is to have a mine. Talking about billions. Mm -hmm. To have a farm. You also do collaterals, you know, against the, against the, you know, your asset. Uh, you go and do feeds, you look tractors, water, you know, silos, machines, and so on. Now, you went and take back the money from the bank. If you are saying you are confiscating the land, means there is no repayment to the bank. What happens? Meaning that you are shutting down the economy because the banks are not going to get back what they spend. What they spend. What you are doing, you are destroying the economy. And I tell you, it will be like Zimbabwe. Young people must be careful of those, you know, uh, old-fashioned and outdated uh, policies. Uh, yeah, just slow and yeah. yeah. So my last question is a question I like to ask uh, any politician, any political leader. Yeah. Um, you speak a lot about what you stand for and who must support you, but who are the people that you not vote for? Who are the people that you are saying, and if you believe in X, Y, and Z, maybe vote for the next poor guy, not me. Don't look at, if you are looking for X, Y, and Z, don't come here. This is not what we stand for, this is not what we are about. Alright, those who do not respect property rights must not go to Okay. Yeah, if you don't respect, if you're talking about expropriation of land without compensation, um, if you are saying that uh, you know nationalization of mines, by so doing, don't vote for me. Why? Because those are people that which are chasing jobs away. Mm -hmm. They are investors who want to come to this country yeah. and they want to put their money. But when they hear they hear those slogans, they would not want to invest. Or, now the the high unemployment in this country, uh, it it also caused by this. You know, these slogans that you are saying that you're going to go and, uh, and take someone's property and so on. What I encourage 
and those who respect our democracy, respect each other uh, without you know, uh, even to offend anyone because of their color skin or because of their sexual orientation and so on. Those who love democracy and those who want to protect this country, I subscribe to those people who love peace and also those who want to change the lives of other people. For example, they need to find ways together to create employment for our people, 80 million who are currently in you know, the and also depending on grants to be able to find jobs and do things for themselves. Yeah, no, uh, this is from the podcast, um, all the best with your campaign, and we do hope our viewers and our listeners give you an opportunity. Um, we need fresh blood. Um, we can hear the passion when you speak. We can also hear that it was not a rant. You know what it is that you're talking about.